Recently, this news article caught my attention. A man got kidney failure from taking too much of this common vitamin. So what happened was he took too much vitamin D and ended up with permanent kidney damage. Now, we need to be careful here, though. This was just one person. News headlines like this make for excellent clickbait, and they seem very important and persuasive. However, when it's just one person that they're talking about, we shouldn't make any firm conclusions based on it. If something has happened to just one person, it's anecdotal, it's not conclusive evidence. But if you're genuinely interested, it's well worth digging a bit deeper to get to the truth. So, as this article says, vitamin D toxicity is rare, but potentially serious. They say here that the recommended maximum of vitamin D is 1,000 international units per day, whereas this man took between 8,000 and 12,000 international units per day. Not only that, he was sunbathing for 8 hours a day, and in case you didn't know, the body makes vitamin D by being exposed to sunlight. If you're getting a lot of sunlight, you probably don't need to supplement high doses of vitamin D. But wait, there's more. It mentions that he was on antihypertensive and diuretic medication. Although it says that his problem remained even after stopping those medications, who knows what damage those drugs might have been doing to his body. And also, why was he on those medications in the first place? So he had high blood pressure? And why was he on the diuretic medication? You see, once you start to dig deeper and unravel this person's unique circumstances, you realise it could actually be a rather complex situation. And this is why we should not draw hard conclusions from things that happen to just one person. But cases like this are worthy of further investigation, so for me it brings up the question, can too much vitamin D harm you? So let's take a look at some other articles and see what they say. So Healthline have an article called How much vitamin D is too much? The surprising truth. They say that nearly all vitamin D overdoses result from taking high-strength supplements, not from diet or sunlight. Also, it takes time for it to become toxic, sometimes several months or even years, because it's a fat-soluble vitamin that the body stores in fat. The kidney damage actually comes from excess calcium in the blood, because too much vitamin D causes calcium to build up in the blood. Early symptoms include nausea, vomiting, diarrhoea, constipation and weakness. They say that the main food sources of vitamin D are fish liver oils and fatty fish. Although 10,000 international units has been shown not to be a problem for healthy people, they say that it's best not to take more than 4,000 international units per day. To work out what that is in micrograms, divide it by 40, which is 100 micrograms. Daily doses of 40,000 to 100,000 international units, that's 1,000 to 2,500 micrograms, for one to several months, has been shown to be toxic. Vitamin D toxicity is usually reversible, but severe cases may eventually cause kidney failure and calcification of the arteries. But you can reduce the chances of overdosing on vitamin D by making sure you're getting enough magnesium and vitamins A and K. But how reliable is the information in this article? Well, Healthline articles are usually very well researched, and this one is certainly no exception. It's got 26 links to PubMed and one link to Sage Journals. The Mayo Clinic has an article called What is Vitamin D Toxicity and Should I Worry About It Since I Take Supplements? They mention another symptom which is frequent urination. Also, eventually you can get bone pain and calcium kidney stones. 60,000 international units, or 1,500 micrograms, taken for several months can cause toxicity. The recommended daily allowance for most adults is 600 international units, or 15 micrograms. If you have a proven vitamin D deficiency, your doctor may prescribe you higher doses for a temporary period, and blood levels should be monitored. This article has four references. Up to date, National Institutes of Health, MSD manual and natural medicines, although the actual article is only available to subscribers. The NHS has an article about vitamin D. They say that a lack of vitamin D can cause bone deformities such as rickets in children and bone pain caused by a condition called osteomalacia in adults. During spring and summer, most people can get all the vitamin D they need through sunlight. During the autumn and winter, you need to get vitamin D from your diet because the sun isn't strong enough for the body to make vitamin D. 
They list the dietary sources of vitamin D, which are oily fish such as salmon, sardines, herring and mackerel, red meat, liver, egg yolks and fortified foods such as most fat spreads and some breakfast cereals. However, some people won't get enough vitamin D from sunlight because they have very little or no sunshine exposure. Also, since it's difficult for people to get enough vitamin D from food alone, everyone including pregnant and breastfeeding women should consider taking a daily supplement containing 10 micrograms or 400 international units of vitamin D during the autumn and winter period. And you should take it all year round if you aren't often outdoors, for example if you're frail or housebound, are in an institution like a care home, usually wear clothes that cover up most of your skin when outdoors, and also people with dark skin from African, Caribbean and South Asian backgrounds may not get enough vitamin D from sunlight. As for young children, breastfed babies from birth to one year of age should be given a daily supplement containing 8.5 to 10 micrograms, which is 340 to 400 international units. Formula-fed babies shouldn't be given a vitamin D supplement until they're having less than 500 millilitres of infant formula per day because infant formula is fortified with vitamin D already. Children aged 1 to 4 years old should be given a daily supplement containing 10 micrograms or 400 international units. Children aged 1 to 10 years shouldn't have more than 50 micrograms or 2,000 international units a day. Infants under 12 months shouldn't have more than 25 micrograms a day or 1,000 international units. As for adults and children over the age of 11, don't take more than 100 micrograms or 4,000 international units of vitamin D a day. As for references, this article doesn't have any, but it is the NHS, so it's probably reliable. The Vitamin D Council has an article called Am I Getting Too Much Vitamin D? They say that vitamin D toxicity usually happens if you take 40,000 international units per day for a couple of months or longer, or take a very large one-time dose such as 300,000 international units. Other symptoms not already mentioned are poor appetite or loss of appetite, feeling very thirsty, abdominal pain, feeling confused and feeling tired. They say that the current recommended daily allowances for vitamin D set by the Food and Nutrition Board are conservative, so you don't need to feel worried about toxicity if you take more than the recommended daily allowance. However, children need less than adults. But if you are worried, get a blood test. This article cites two references. Vitamin D 3rd edition by Feldman, Pike and Adams and the American Journal of Nutrition. Unfortunately, there are no web links though. A. Vogel has an article called Are You Getting Too Much Vitamin D? They say that vitamin D is difficult to get from food if you're a vegan or a vegetarian. Headaches is another symptom of overdose that hasn't been mentioned yet. Also, too much vitamin D can cause you to get low on magnesium. They say there is no need to take a supplement all year round unless you are deficient, because during the summer you should get enough from the sun. But the types of people most likely to be deficient are breastfeeding women, the elderly, teenagers and children under 5. During the winter, you may need to take a supplement of 10 micrograms or 400 international units, but don't take more than 15 micrograms or 600 international units. This article cites two references, Reuters and gov.uk. Harvard Health Publishing has an article called Taking too much vitamin D can cloud its benefits and create health risks. They say that supplementing more than 4,000 international units or 100 micrograms can be unsafe and the recommended dosage for most people is 600 to 800 international units or 15 to 20 micrograms. They say that people who may get deficient in vitamin D are overweight people because there's more stored in fat so less available to use, people with conditions such as inflammatory bowel disease, liver disease or cystic fibrosis among others may have trouble absorbing vitamin D, older people may struggle to absorb vitamin D, and also if you live somewhere that doesn't get much sun. But when possible, choose food over supplements, and here they have a helpful table showing the best food sources of vitamin D. As you can see, it's mainly fish, so vegans and vegetarians may need to take a supplement. The only reference listed here is that it got the food table from the USDA National Nutrient Database for standard reference. 
Medical News Today has an article called Can Too Much Vitamin D Hurt You? This article highlights the important functions in the body that vitamin D supports, such as the absorption and regulation of calcium, magnesium and phosphate, the hardening, growth and remodelling of bones, cellular growth and remodelling, immune function, nerve and muscle function. Certain medications interfere with vitamin D, so if in doubt, talk to your doctor. Some health conditions make a person more sensitive to vitamin D, such as primary hypothyroidism, cancer, sarcoidosis, granulomatous tuberculosis, metastatic bone disease, and Williams syndrome. Signs of too much vitamin D include unexplained exhaustion, a loss of appetite and weight loss, constipation, dry mouth, skin that is slow to return to normal after being pinched, increased thirst and frequency of urination, continuous headaches, nausea and vomiting, reduced reflexes, confusion, disorientation or trouble thinking, an irregular heartbeat, muscle weakness and reduced muscle tone, and changes in gait. Severe toxicity can lead to extreme dehydration, high blood pressure, slowed growth, trouble breathing, temporary losses of consciousness, heart failure and heart attack, kidney stones and kidney failure, hearing loss, ringing in the ears, inflammation of the pancreas, gastric ulcers and even coma. In terms of references, there are four links to PubMed, plus a whole load of other links to studies. WebMD has an article about vitamin D. It mentions a lot of things that I've already talked about, and there are a lot of different dosages mentioned, ranging from 300 to 50,000 international units. The Institute of Medicine has set the RDA for different age ranges. 1 to 70 years, plus pregnant or lactating women, 600 international units per day. 71 years and older, 800 international units per day. Infants up to 12 months, 400 international units per day. But how much vitamin D is too much? They say, taking vitamin D for long periods of time in doses higher than 4,000 units daily is possibly unsafe and may cause excessively high levels of calcium in the blood. In terms of references, there are loads but no web links unfortunately. Aura has an article called Vitamin D Toxicity, How Much Vitamin D Is Too Much? They say that vitamin D isn't actually a vitamin, it's a pro-hormone. 60,000 international units per day over several months is toxic. And they list the minimum and maximum amounts for different ages. Infants aged 0-6 to months, adequate intake is 400 international units a day, a maximum safe upper level of intake is 1,000 international units a day. Infants aged 6 to 12 months, it's 400 to 1,500 international units a day. Aged 1 to 3 years, it's 600 to 2,500 international units a day. Aged 4 to 8 years, it's 600 to 3,000 international units a day. Aged 9 to 70, it's 600 to 4,000 international units a day. And for people aged 71 or over, it's 800 to 4,000 international units a day. This article cites three references, Mayo Clinic, Livestrong.com and PubMed. Better Health While Aging has an article called Vitamin D, The Healthy Aging Dose. This article recommends that older adults take a vitamin D supplement, but at a sensible dose of 1,000 international units per day. This is the right amount to prevent most people getting too much or too little. You probably don't need to get your levels checked unless you have a specific reason. It's good to avoid being low in vitamin D, but there isn't much good evidence that taking high doses is beneficial. Even if you think you're getting enough sunlight, supplementing 1,000 international units per day is unlikely to give you too much. Most people shouldn't take more than 4,000 international units per day, but it's best to avoid taking more than 2,000 international units per day unless you know you are deficient. D3 is a better form of vitamin D than D2, and is also known as colocalciferol. As for references, there are links to the National Academies of Science, Engineering and Medicine, Health and Medicine Division, Journal of the American Geriatrics Society, National Institute of Health, JAMA Network, and five links to PubMed. Okay, so to summarise, it is possible to get too much vitamin D, but there is also a high chance you might not get enough. 
A lack of vitamin D can lead to bone deformity such as rickets in children and bone pain caused by a condition called osteomalacia in adults. People most likely to be deficient are the elderly, breastfeeding women, overweight people, teenagers, children under the age of five, anyone not getting much sunlight, which is most people during the winter, and people with certain health problems such as inflammatory bowel disease, liver disease or cystic fibrosis. Too much vitamin D can cause too much calcium. Symptoms of too much are nausea, vomiting, diarrhoea, constipation, abdominal pain, weakness, feeling very thirsty, frequent urination, feeling confused or tired, headaches, kidney problems, bone pain, joint pain, muscle pain, irregular or rapid heartbeat, reduced reflexes, a metallic taste in the mouth, high blood pressure, chest pain and sunken eyes. The safe range of vitamin D is between 400 and 4,000 international units per day for most adults. Children under 10 shouldn't have more than 2,000 international units per day. Infants under 12 months shouldn't have more than 1,000 international units per day. And the best form of vitamin D is vitamin D3. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and maybe the subscribe button too. Until next time, I wish you the very best of health.